Do swarms of tiny tremblers rattling the west coast mean that a catastrophic earthquake is about to hit? This is the question that we all have, not only for the west coast. We have this question to answer concerning Hawaii, concerning Yellowstone supervolcano. This is from uh, Sean Walton on the Daily Sheeple. The series of tiny quakes rattling California and the Pacific Northwest. We see them especially just about one a day rattling Mount St. Helens again. May signal an upcoming catastrophic earthquake. This is what seismologists say according to the report by KOIN. Experts say they might just be another, there might just be another reminder that the pressure is always building on fault lines beneath the West Coast. Quote, those are just reminders, end quote. This is what Scott Burns, a Portland State University geology professor, said according to the station. He said, we don't know what they mean. They are reminders that we are in earthquake country and they may be precursors to the big one. Let's remember that we, two days ago we had the huge Peru earthquake of 9 Richter, 9 magnitude 8, uh, sorry, magnitude 8, not 9, I'm sorry, 8. Um, they were lucky that uh, only one person was a victim there. There could have been more, so they were, that was, obviously it would have been better if nobody, nobody was hurt, but uh, it was a huge earthquake. And a lot of people are asking, uh, it's just a matter of luck that West Coast has not been hit by something like that. Really? Now, the tremors are indications of a slow slip event, said Ken Krieger, University of Washington professor. A slow slip movement, which takes place every 14 months or so, a tectonic plate temporarily moves backward, causing a series of small quakes. The slippage also increases pressure on locked faults, locked and loaded faults, boosting chances for a major earthquake. Quote, every time we have one of these slow slip events, it adds stress to where the big one is going to happen, Krieger said. And he adds, so there is some reason to think that the timing may be such that the big one would happen during one of these slow slip events, end quote. Most of the tiny tremblers in a slow slip event are below magnitude 3 and undetectable by most people. This is what John Vidal, director of the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, that's PNSN, we many times see their... Um, uh, I'll leave a link below for you. You can watch the the daily earthquakes there. Um, he's the director of PNSN, reported to Seattle Post Intelligence. He said these plates are basically moving half an inch over the course of a couple of days. Half an inch in a couple, that's a lot. In a couple of days. So in two days you have half an inch. In six days you're going to have three inches. And uh, sometimes five, three inches, or 50, 15 inches a month. <laughs> this, is, this is just too much. So he says, so it kind of jiggles enough that our most sensitive instruments can feel it, Vidal said, according to the publication. But people can't. Nevertheless, Burns says slow slip events are a good reminder to people to be prepared for a disastrous earthquake. Burns said the big one would shake for nearly four minutes and cause extensive damage. Four minutes, the big one. The one that uh, took place in Peru with the eight magnitude lasted for two minutes. Can you imagine your house or the building that you're in shaking for a whole two minutes? I mean, what's left standing? Everything is basically pulverized to dust. Shaking for two minutes? Are you kidding me? And the big one, he says, is going to be shaking for nearly four minutes. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial 
subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.